Hey y'all, it's TX Stamp and Sharon. It is Mystery Monday time. Today is Monday, February the 5th, and twice a month, I go live here on YouTube, the first Monday, typically, the first Monday and the third, third Monday of the month, and we play something called Mystery Monday Stamping. So the way it works is um, I have given my mystery players um, the first clue, which they either received in an email or on our Facebook page. And then they have everything ready to get the rest of the clues that I'm going to be giving tonight live. Um, and um, they will be making a card. If you're new to my channel, I do want to welcome you. I hope that you'll stick around, check it out, and see what you think. And then you're invited to join us. So we do have two rules with mystery stamping. The first one, no stress. Okay? Card making is supposed to be fun. And so stress is not allowed. No stress. Rule number two, because you have all the pieces to make your card in front of you, you may not like the clue I give. Fine with me. You're making your card. Um, you might kind of get behind. So we have this saying, rule number two, just go rogue. Just make your card. All right. I do want to welcome everyone who has joined us in the live chat to do their card. Um, I, I'm not seeing anyone say that they can't hear me or see me. So I think we're good on that side. Um, I, I was trying to do a little bit of chatting with everyone before we got started. Um, but I always have all these things to check on this side of the camera. We just want to make sure that everything goes as smoothly as possible. Um, so I do want to give some shouts out. I see Roxanne. Hi, Michelle. Um, Delina says that I'm good. She can hear me. Perfect. Hear and see me. Yay. All right. Um, everything is good, says Anita. Woohoo. All right. I think we are just about ready to turn the camera around and get started. Um, so I mentioned at the beginning that I emailed out this first clue, okay? Now, when the live is over, I will have a condensed version of the clues. These clues are really big so that you can see them on camera. But after the live is over, then I have a much smaller version that I will have um, over on my blog, which the blog link will be below the video, okay? And so um, you can uh, grab that um, after, eight, after 8 p.m. Central, okay? I'm going to have a seat. There we go. Now you can see me. Um, so someone already noticed my nails. How stinking fun are those? So I was at the nail salon, which y'all know I love my pretty nails. Like I like to have pretty nails. And I pointed out this polish and I go, what is that? And he says, it's, I said, it looks like a cat eye. And he goes, it's tiger eye. And I go, yeah, a big cat. <laughs> I go, I want that. So that's what I got. And he, he said, well, it's $10 more. And I was like, eh, okay. But because I'm such a good customer, um, I had a $20 credit. So didn't cost me extra. <laughs> I was telling Mark that today and he was like, oh, well that worked out. I go, it did. All right, so we're talking about this first clue. This first clue was emailed out, like I mentioned. If you are not on my email list and you want to be, I would love to have you. You're invited to look below the video and join my newsletter. There is a link down there to do that. So I think we have quite a few um, who have already popped on and joined us. Thank you, Anita. She said, treat yourself. They're awesome. I know I'm thinking, oh, they had all tons of colors in this cat eye, but I thought it was kind of fun to do the blues. I don't know. I picked it. So, all right, let's get started. Um, and before I forget, if you're new to my channel, if you're new to mystery stamping, I'm going to be telling everyone uh, to, to type done with that clue, like done with clue number two, done with clue number three. I always forget this. So I'm trying to remember to do it now. 
Um, as you're watching the replay, you do not have to type the word done. Just simply stop and start the video and make your card, okay? Yay, I'm so glad you love Pretty Peacock. They do look like Pretty Peacock, don't they? Mm -hmm. That is a Stampin' Up! color for sure. All right, let's get started. Clue number two is a long one, but bear with me. I want you to adhere the two pieces of designer series paper that measures one inch by five and a half that has the same design by adding one, one, two, all the way on the left side of the card. That did not come out right. All the way on the left side of the card front and the other one all the way to the right side of the card front with adhesive. No border of the card will be showing, okay? Now, because that's so long, I do have a little prop for you. So here's my card front, and this is just what it says. I want you to put it there and there. That's all clue number two is. <laughs> so much easier, isn't it? <laughs> so that's what that means. When you are done with clue number two, type done to. Hi, Barbie. Haven't seen you in a while. Welcome. Hi, Connie Beeman. Hi, Gail from Lafayette, Indiana, not Lafayette, Louisiana. I know that a lot of my stampers, hi, Mary Sue, um, that um, a lot of my stampers uh, out on the in the West, so California, getting ready to be Arizona. California has just been getting so much rain. Um, so I know lots of flooding. Um, it's getting ready to go to Arizona. I'm getting ready to go to Arizona. So that's why I was looking at the weather. I was like, oh, it's going to be raining most of the time we're there. So, um, oh, thank you. I do have on my sweater tonight. I was a little chilly. We had um, high winds here today and yesterday. So I think it was 52 but the wind made it feel like it was 30. <laughs> I was like, I'm chilly. I'm going to put on my sweater. So, all right. I'm starting to see some duns. Deanna is done. Uh, Kathy is done. Eileen is done. Yay. Okay. You guys are getting it. So it was a long clue, but that's all it means. <laughs> okay. I think we are done with that. Uh, lots of wind in Georgetown too, says Mary Catherine. Yeah, it, Saturday was gorgeous. Sunday we went to the farmer's market. Mm -mm, not so gorgeous. I was just, you know, you're just out in the wind and you're like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going home. <laughs> um, we met the kiddos up there, the grandkids, and they played at the park and all of that. And I'm like, okay, we're going home. <laughs> All right, clue number two. Uh, clue number two is done. Clue number three. Add the designer series paper that is two and a half by one and a quarter to the top of the colored cardstock that measures two and three quarters by five and a half with adhesive. Note, this will have a border on the sides, but not on the top. Does that make sense? So this is our paper that we're talking about, and we're going to be adding it to the top of our paper, and there's going to be a border on the sides, but not a border on the top. Make sense? You think my nails go with my sweater? They kind of do, Vicki. How funny. I didn't even notice. Yeah, they kind of do. Matchy, matchy. <laughs> <clears throat> Colleen says that it's still chilly in Northeast uh, Ohio, but looking forward to 50s this week. There you go. Helen says we finally have sunshine in New York after 11 days of gray skies and rain. Oh, that just gets old, doesn't it? It just, it's just, it's weary and it makes you weary. So it's dreary and it makes you weary. <laughs> so speaking of Ohio, is Renee on here? I haven't heard from Renee. Um, I'm kind of scrolling up to see who else here. I see Brenda Bennett, Elizabeth Mayer, Stella Dyer, Michelle Townsley. Hi, thank you. I'm glad you like my nails. I'm just kind of scrolling around, seeing who's here tonight. Barb from Dover, Pennsylvania. There's Margaret. Margaret 
And there's Michelle. Michelle Batson is on here. Michelle is on tonight, just playing along. Inika is here. There's Renee. Uh-huh. There you are, being quiet. Uh-huh. Um, would I mind going back to clue number two? I don't mind a bit, but this is what it means, okay? So clue number two was to adhere the two designer series paper on the left and the right side of your card front and don't have a border, okay? Robin made a live. Yay, welcome. Okay, and don't forget, y'all, um, I will have the condensed version of the clues for you on my blog, which is um, txstampin.com. Um, I will also have, um, have it in the Mystery Stampers Facebook group. Um, it is unusual for Renee to be quiet. She must be making cards. She's commissioned to work, make a bunch of cards. I bet she's sitting there stamping. <laughs> All right. So when you're done with clue number three, type done three. And I mentioned the Facebook group. So Renee says, I am not quiet. Y'all just didn't notice what I've been saying. Well, I scrolled back and I didn't see anything that you were saying. So there's that. Um, let's see here. Let me go here. Mystery stampers. Copy. So go back to comments. There we go. Oh, Renee got it. Renee, I was trying to beat Renee. She got the Mystery Stampers Facebook group link for y'all. So I need to put it as a banner so that I can pop it up. Barbie says that her daffodils are coming up and it is still winter. I live in Washington State. Y'all have had a mild winter, huh? I think we've, we've had a pretty mild winter for us. So, all right. How are we doing? I see a couple of duns with three. Hi, Jolie. Welcome. Hi, Kathy Kessler. How are you? She's working on Valentine's. Valentine's will be here next week, right? Right around the corner. I need to get mine in the mail. Got to do that. I got a lot to do. Tomorrow's a busy day. I'm leaving town on Wednesday. Um, so Thursday night, I will not have a live video for you. I will have a video for you. So there's that. Oh, Renee says she's got her plants are growing stems and bulbs. Wow. The groundhog did not see his shadow, so no more winter. We'll see. <laughs> I'm expecting more winter weather in February in Texas. All right. Clue number four. Add the designer series paper that measures two and a half by two and three quarters to the bottom of the colored cardstock that measures two and three quarters by five and a half with adhesive. Note. This will have a border on the sides, but not on the bottom. I should have said bottom. Look at me. I'm just typing right along. So this should say bottom. Do, do, do. Bottom. Okay. So back to our, our um, prop. So we're adding the paper to the bottom. So we've already got our DSP up here. Now we're adding our DSP, DSP down here. There will be a border on the sides, but not on the bottom. Okay, so flush with the bottom. When you're done with clue number four, type done four. Yeah, about nine days before Valentine's. Teresa is just watching from California. She just woke up. Whoops, where'd it go? Um, after her nap because she had dialysis. Well, I'm sure that wears you out. So I'm glad you're here. Just sit back and relax. If you love the card, when we reveal the, when we solve the mystery at the end, um, you can always go back, watch the replay, stop and start it and make your card. So you just rest and take it easy. <laughs> Linda Goble says, Florida just can't decide if it wants to be um, chilly for them or warm. Temps keep going up and down. That's kind of us here right now, but that's typical for Texas. Hi, Suzanne from Montana. 
First time she's made a live chat. Love watching you. You're so entertaining and I love your cards. I'm so glad. I'm so happy I entertain you too. <laughs> you know, anything from my nails to how I talk. Just happy I make you happy. There you go. Anita says, I am thinking slowly. I had Mo's surgery today above my eyebrow. Oh, goodness. So are you a little groggy, Anita? Are you still kind of groggy or? Should the DSP on the bottom match the DSP on the top? Yes. It's the same paper. So when you go to the clue, um, designer series paper, they are, th they're different than number three, but cl clue number four, it's those two pieces is what we're adding to this piece right here. <gasps> Barbie fell down on black ice, and now I have a small fracture on the side of your knee. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, Barbie, that's awful. Prop, please, on the DSP. Okay, I didn't cut any, but I will. If it's a challenge, I sure will. Hang on. Let me get, get some paper. Yeah. That's not even a, another piece. My paper's not going to match, but that's okay. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what your clue number three and clue number four mean. We have a piece up there and a piece down here and nothing in the middle. <laughs> it's a fun card, y'all. Trust me. Trust me. Right, Renee? It's a fun card. All right, so there's one prop. Now, here's the other prop. We don't have enough room for all the props. So, clue number three, clue number four. All the way down to the bottom. All the way up to the top. There's a mat on the sides. <laughs> yes, we did. Yes, we did. We went there. Two and three quarters by five and a half. No. Two and three quarters by two and a half. Two and a half by two and three quarters. Um, you're so welcome for the prop, Emeka. Um, hi, Rebecca. We're not late. You're you're just fashionably late. You're here. We're glad you're here. You can just kind of watch for the rest of it if you want. Um, and then uh, go back and watch the replay. Susan says, glad you're um, um, propping us up tonight. You're so welcome, my friend. You're so welcome. How's your wrist doing? Speaking of, of, of ailments and falls and boo-boos. <laughs> Um, Renee says it is a very good layout, easy to do many of it. And she likes it. See, you got to trust Renee. You got to trust Renee. Well, I don't know. <laughs> do we trust Renee or not? <laughs> um, yeah, Rebecca, um, go back. Um, so clue number one would be the, the, um, gathering your supplies. Do you have that list? Anita says, want to laugh, I followed the mystery stamping from February 6, 2023. <laughs> tonight? Did you go there tonight, Anita? Oh, I agree, Susan. PT is invaluable. I can speak from experience. Love PT. From my stamper's elbow. Mm -hmm. That's what I got. Clue number five. Add the colored cardstock with the DSP 
from clue number four to the center of the card front using dimensionals. If you want to, keep in mind, thicker cards may require additional postage. So um, Renee pointed that out to me and I want to start adding that or, you know, talking about that because postage is um, an issue. So here we go. This is going to be such a crazy card. We're just going to put it together. Hang on. We're going to do this. We're going to put it barely together. We're not temporarily here. Whoops. Let's straighten that out. I am not a sit down stamper. I have to stand up, but I'm sitting right now. So these were our earlier clues. Okay. And then I'm going to put this on like that. Okay. And then you're putting this piece right here. Oh, look how that goes together. How fun is that? Cindy says she's a stand up stamper too. Who else is a stand up, stand up stamper? Because I have to see, I have to see what I'm doing. Okay. Now on my real card I did, I did put it on with dimensionals. So just saying that. Matt is in the house. Look at that, Matt. Mm -hmm. Matt is laying on that card front. Yes, ma'am. Denise in Dallas says that she's a stand-up stamper. Um, it is KT tape on my arm. Yes, it is. So my physical therapist does a treatment on my elbow and then puts the tape on in and it lasts like in between my treatments. And it's amazing. I never thought a piece of tape could help you so much, <laughs> but it does. Ernie is a stand-up stamper. Sharon is a stand-up stamper because of her back. Okay. See, Rebecca says, I stand so I can eyeball the project and get a better stamp on my paper. So did y'all notice when I stood up, it's so that I can see over. I want to be able to get it lined up. Um, Sue says, nope, I am lazy. I sit down. <laughs> When you're done with your uh, clue number five, type done five. The tape does not come off in the shower. Now it'll start getting, you know, so I had my treatment on Friday. So it starts to kind of ravel a bit, but I just cut off the, uh, I just pull it off, you know, um, trim it with scissors or whatever. But yeah, it goes all the way up my elbow. Pretty, huh? See, and that's why I wear long sleeve shirts. <laughs> But I believe in the tape. So there you go. Um, Polly says, I sit because of my desk being so low, but I would prefer to stand. Polly, Libby, that card you posted today, absolutely love it. Easter card. Loved it. I made a comment. I don't know if you saw that yet, but I loved it. Um, Beverly says, I have to sit. Not lazy, just saving my back. No bending over. Got it. Um. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. That one went too fast. Um, three times a charm. Terry Green cannot get into the chat and would like to know what's happening with my stamp set. My stamp set is in the planning stages. Um, my stamp set is coming, but it'll be a while. Um, if Terry Green can't get into the chat... Ask her if, she, if you can talk to her, Renee, ask her if she can, if she has a Gmail account. That may, That's the only reason why she wouldn't be able to, unless she's watching me on TV. Am I on TV? How do I look? Um, Barbie stands up to stamp. Hi, Anna. Hi, Jeannie. Um, Paula says she has to sit because of her knees. Otherwise, I wouldn't get to stamp at all. I mean, isn't it funny how we each have, you know, it? we do what works for us, Okay. Um, whoa, I got to read this. Be Rebecca says I converted a baby changing table so that my stamping table could be higher. I'm almost six feet tall. So low table is no good for her. A baby changing table. See us crafters. We will make it. We'll make it work. Clue number six. I want you to stamp your greeting on the basic white layer that measures two and three quarters by one and three quarters. Now, let me give you a hint on that stamping. 
Your card is portrait. Remember, this is a portrait card. Do I get to go to corporate to pick up my stamp? I will get to go to corporate next in September for my trip, my million dollar trip. But I think they mail me the stamp ahead of time so that I can play with it. I'm so excited about my stamp. And if I could tell you anything, I would, but I can't. But it's so cool. Just trust me. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. It's so me. How's that? Uh, let's see. When you're done with clue number six, type done six. Renee says, I am lazy. I sit and craft. It's a tad askew then, so be it. <laughs> if it's wonky. If it's crooked, she don't care. Jay Marie says, stand her here. My husband made my desk to be at hip level. Then I also have the option to sit on a bar stool, which is what I'm sitting on now. My table, this table that I'm at now is actually, it was sold as a kitchen island, a, a freestanding kitchen island. It's got drawers like for silverware, I guess, um, but it's tall. So I get that. Hi, Cheryl Ann. I'm glad you're here. Welcome. Mona Lisa says, between rotator cuff surgery and sciatica problems, I stand, sit, and wiggle every which way. Hopefully, I will all will be healed soon. You are just hanging in there, aren't you, girlfriend? You're like, I am not going to let this body of mine keep me from stamping. There you go. Um, Debbie Lyon says, I bet it's a hey, y'all. I don't know. You know, we have to remember that these stamps aren't just for people in Texas. <laughs> these stamps are not just for people in the United States. These stamps are for people in Germany. People in Germany may not understand what hey y'all means. <laughs> they should, but they may not. So it's for worldwide. So that's, they, they do take that into consideration. Um, how is the basic white gonna go on the card? Okay, so let's talk about that. Our card is portrait. And our basic white is going to be going in here somewhere, okay? So your words, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Your words should be like this, okay? But not on there like that. I'm just saying. Your words need to go that way. Um, oh, Kim Leach, uh, Lurch says she uses bed risers for her table. I have bed risers on that table over there. See, we make things work, don't we? Um, Barbie says I use my cutting table for quilt making. There you go. You're so welcome, Maria. Debbie says it's beach related, I bet. I don't know. You got to remember, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll see it. You're going to go, oh, yeah, that's her. That's her. Um, hey, y'all doesn't translate to German. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> All right. I think you guys are done with six. Clue number seven. Add the stamped basic white greeting layer to the colored cardstock that is two and three quarters by two inches with adhesive. Now, that colored cardstock could be the same color as your base or it could be different. I didn't tell you um that it had to be the same so whatever card stock you cut that's what you're adding your stamped layer to susan hammond says i bet it says it's beachy with a go rogue hey y'all and matt's in the house <laughs> well i will tell you one thing it doesn't have anything to do with matt because that those that planning happened before matt showed up mm-hmm um, Rebecca says, oh, the shelves below house magazines and other paper storage easy to get to. Yeah, we have to, we have to make, oh, Barbie wants to know who Matt is. Barbie hasn't been with us for a while. Okay, Barbie, let me tell you who Matt is. So one day, oh gosh, Renee was Matt born November 9th. When was it? So, um, Barbie like when you read the clues, um, I said, 
um, add the stamp layer to the colored cardstock with adhesive. Um, so I wrote the word, I, somehow the clue said something about this would be a mat and I typed it wrong and I spelled it like that with two T's. And these crazy mystery stampers had a blast with that. So much so that um, I even got a floor mat from Renee that she pre that she special ordered from me that says, hi, I'm Matt. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but that's, hi, I'm Matt. <laughs> so anytime these mystery stampers, um, have a chance to talk about Matt again because we had a we've had some good laughs over Matt. Um, ah, Suzanne Andrew says, "I bet it has go rogue." Did I design the stamp? I did. I designed it in Canva and I sent it to them and I go, "Can we do this?" And they're like, oh, "We love it. Yes, we can." Um, Rochelle says she thinks it has to do with the beach. Okay, how are we doing on clue number seven? Done seven, done seven, done seven. I know, Barbie, isn't it hysterical? These ladies, there's just no talent. Ladies and gents, we've got some gents on. Um, there's, It's just no telling where the conversation will go during mystery stamping, but that's what makes it so fun, right? Clue number eight. Add the greeting layer, mat layer. See, that's where it would have come in, right here. To the card front with dimensionals in between the two pieces of designer series paper. Okay, so right here, it's going to go in between the two pieces of designer series paper and it's going to go right here. Don't y'all just love this card? So far, right? Let me know in the comments if you love it. Roxanne says, yes, we sure did. We love Matt. Mm -hmm. They love their Matt, don't they? <laughs> Out of control. We got out of control. Touche. Yes, Rebecca. Um, it is so neat, Patty. You know, um, I've been doing this for 26 years. I have seen a lot, a lot of stamps. And so I was just trying to think, what could I do that we haven't already seen? We've had beach stamps. We've had, years ago, we had some great Western stamps, you know, with a saddle and you know so anything texan and all of that so it was really hard to come up with what what can i do so um mary yates said i had two family members today name and their names are matt i nearly started laughing <laughs> oh at work oh my gosh that's funny vicky says i'm having my lemon puppy seed snack Hope y'all are enjoying something yummy. Ooh, that does sound yummy, doesn't it? Oh, Jeannie Brown wants to know what happened to the golden years because they ain't so golden, are they? Now, I don't know. I think those people fed us a lot of stories about the golden years. And then when we got here, we're like, oh, no. Nobody told me that it was going to hurt to get out of bed. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, Matt is an honorary mystery stamper. Yes, he is. Virginia says, I love this card. I'll make a lot of these. See, don't y'all love it? It does. Oh, wait, Michelle said, hold on. These, if someone came up with a thank you for your service stamp set. Um, yeah, that's one that we need for sure. Um, okay. You guys are done with eight. Clue number nine. Add embellishments to the greeting layer, this layer. Michelle Townsley said, my grandparents warned me, um, and years later, my father warned me. They have all passed on. They warned you that it wasn't the golden years? Is that what you're saying? Marilyn Eden says, I hope your stamp set has lots of greetings. Maybe, maybe. Oh my goodness. Sarah Kendall says she is done with seven. Make I like to make it match. I've been looking for the perfect mat for years. 
See, see, Barbie, this is where they start talking. And what was it? One of y'all said, well, I'm old, but I could always use a mat in my life. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Roxanne is going to be 66 on February the 15th. Happy early birthday to you. Um, Maria says, this card is so cool. I'm making it for my son for Valentine's Day. I knew you guys would love this card. And actually, kudos to Renee because she found the card and sent it to me and said this would be a great mystery card. And I was like, oh, it sure would. No, Rebecca, you're right. We say that growing old is not for sissies. It ain't for sissies. It ain't for wimps. Because mm -mm, you got to be tough. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, <gasps> Margaret's going to be 80 on February the 12th. Happy birthday to you. And you do not look 80 for the love. Come on. Um, Nancy says, I say they're not golden, but they're rusty years. <laughs> that is so true. So true. Clue number 10, I want you to add the basic white layer that's four inches by five and a quarter to the inside of your card. We haven't done that yet. Um, let's see. Now they're talking about age. I was 74 on February 2nd. Happy birthday to KT. Um, Denise Smith turned 66 on February 1st. Happy birthday, y'all. There's a lot of birthdays in the house. Um, Kate Wright said, I did not expect my golden years to be like this, but I never give up. Amen, sister. Amen. Mary Catherine said, I read a quote from Betty White today. The older you get, the better you get, unless you're a banana. <laughs> That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. Robin is going to be 63 on Valentine's Day. <gasps> How fun for you. You get chocolate and birthday cake. How fun. Rebecca, I couldn't have said it any better myself. Anything goes with a sense of humor and a twinkle in your eye. Can y'all see my twinkle? <laughs> Deborah says the card is darling. I'm so glad. All right, clue number 11. As you look at your card with the greeting layer and the designer series paper, if you feel it needs anything else, you can certainly add it. In most cases, the designer series paper carries the design and an image isn't needed, but it is your card, so go rogue. Remember rule number two, go rogue. So um, I did not... Oh, Renee says, when the banana gets old, you just make delicious banana bread. That's right. Um, Andrea says, thanks for the warning about the golden years. Yeah, they're just rusty. Just a little rusty. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Love it. Love you guys. You guys are fun. <gasps> Cindy Wagner says, my mom is turning 99 on February 26th. Happy birthday to your mom. Wow. Okay. So we are all done with our card. Um, I, I just, I cannot wait to see y'all's version posted over on um, the Mystery Stampers Facebook group. Um, oops, I was going to show y'all something. I've been working on card kits today. Um, so hang on. Before I reveal my card, let me show you something. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's my grandson. Because Where is it? All right. So this is the Celebration brochure. Um, Celebration is, if you're not familiar with Stampin' Up! products, um, during February, the rest of February, you can um, choose something out of this brochure for free. Somebody's asking for my address. Hold on. What is that? Where'd you go? Um, you can put a card request in the group and give us her address to send her a card. Oh, wait. Yeah, that would be good for your mom. Absolutely. In the Mystery Stampers group or Sharon's um, friends. Okay, so you can get anything um, in this brochure for, um, for free for a $50 order. And they also added a bunch of stuff um, for celebration. I don't think I have that flyer. Anyway. 
I just wanted to point out that because that is the paper I use for my card. Free paper. Love it. I have to say that I have not been a very good friend to wild wheat. But wild wheat was in this paper. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be your friend. Wild wheat is just not my color, but like my daughter loves it. She saw it the first time. She was like, oh, I love that paper. I was like, Ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, I did add my embellishments. Like I told you to, this is the, the cork pieces um, that I think are so fun. Um, I actually ordered some more today because I was playing with those. Now I did add dimensionals. I just want to show you because we talked about this. Um, and see, Renee loves wild wheat and she loves my card. So I did add dimensionals. I don't think you can see it. I added dimensionals under this layer. Remember how we talked about it. And then I also added dimensionals under my greeting layer. Okay. So my card isn't super thick. Um, but I just wanted to point that out. And then when you add the um, embellishments, that's more. Okay. So just talking about, um, see, Vicki says, I've been wondering how to use those new colors. Very unsure. Um, so what's so funny about this card. And so Renee, in case y'all don't know, I send the clues to Renee and then she kind of might tweak some of the wording and all of that. <clears throat> We talked, she talked to me about the different colors of cardstock and that they're the same. But the inside of my card is Calypso Coral. <laughs> I picked up the Calypso in the paper. So thank you, Cheryl Ann. I think you, um, I think y'all liked my card. And like I said, I just wanted to point out where the paper came from. Um, but yeah, so through the end of February, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and you need any of the catalogs that are going on right now, I'm more than happy to send those to you. Um, I do need you to fill out a form. You can go to my blog and look for um, catalog request. Uh, request a catalog. There is my blog for you. I think that everyone loved my card and the colors. I'm so glad. I am so glad that y'all loved it. Um, I think what we're going to start doing with mystery stamping, Renee, help me remember this. Um, I saw a card today that made me think of this. We're going to start doing more on the inside. We're going to step up mystery stamping. So when I tell y'all to have more paper, you're going to go, I don't know what in the world she's going to make us do because there's so much paper. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind. We're going to step it up and start doing more on the inside. Um, Colleen T says, great card layout. You're always so creative and inspiring. You're so welcome. The colors do go great together. Um, let's see. Hold on. I'm seeing some, let me move that, remove that. I'm seeing some messages go by. Oh, Barb Hendrickson made two cards tonight. I'm glad to see your card. I can tweak my DSP choices. There you go. Teresa says, very pretty card. You're such a pleasure to watch you on. Oh, thank you. Love the idea about the inside. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna step it up. We're going to step up the inside. We're going to learn more about it. Uh, Enika says, do I know when the new annual is coming out? The new annual catalog will start in May. Um, starting in April, you will start seeing um, 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 things that are retiring. You'll see that kind of a list. And I'm just going to tell you all now, this is February, and I'm telling you now, if you need any ink refills for any of your ink pads for the end colors or anything to go with the end colors, go ahead and buy them now. They're going to sell out the first day that that list goes live. I've been doing this for 26 years. It happens for 26 years. I'm just telling you from experience, it will happen. Uh, let's see me scroll down. Diane says, love this card layout. Love cards that the DSP is the star. Yes, inside ideas are always welcome. I mean, like I said, if you think your card needs something else, go ahead and add it. But I don't think so. I do not think so. So, all right, guys, um, I will not be live on Thursday night. I will have a video for you. Hopefully, I think my email system is all fixed. I think we're all good to go. So if you're on my email list, you'll get the link for the video. Um, 
Jeannie, it can be sad when things retire, but there are always pretty new things to replace them. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, Denise Smith says she loves my card. It's so pretty. Thank you. I'm so glad you liked it. All right, guys. Um, I will be, so no mystery stamping next Monday. If you're one of my VIP mystery stampers, mystery, the VIP party will be the end of the month. It'll be the last Monday in February. Um, you should have already gotten that information uh, when you uh, placed your order for $50 or more. To be invited to my VIP party, you do have to be one of my customers or you have to place an order of $50 or more to be invited. We have a lot of fun. I give away prizes. Um, every month we've done something different and I'm still pondering how to top last month's or last party because my son-in-law was on as our guest and he was so cute. He had a great time and I just don't know how I'm going to top that. So anyway, all right, we will see you. Have a safe trip to Arizona. Am I going to see Jackie? I will be seeing Jackie, um, but I am not seeing Jackie in Tucson. I am seeing Jackie in Gilbert. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be up near um, Surprise, Arizona, out that way, up near um, Phoenix. But I'm going to a conference, um, and Jackie is meeting me there. We're staying. There's a whole bunch of us. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of us staying at that house. It could be a lot of fun. <laughs> Happy stamping, y'all. I will see you live in a week and a half. Well, next Thursday. So have a good one. Um, I um, Oh, Diane. Yeah, she used to live in Gilbert, so you know right where I'm going. So all right, guys. Have a good one. Happy stamping, y'all.